Hi everyone, this is Laura. So I did a little bit of online shopping and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I think it is worth um, checking out. So the first thing I did was went to um, Etsy and found um, a shop there called YY Crafts and I don't have a card. They didn't send a card or invoice or anything. But um, the stuff comes from China, and it took about 10 days to get here. And um, so this is what it is here. And this is the palest pink, super duper pretty. Um, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was $3 a yard. So um, anyway, that's just really pretty. And then there's this um, cream one. And it's really soft. And then there's this one that is little hearts. They're kind of smashed right now. They came, all of this came in like this box that was like this big. I couldn't believe it. But um, this is like little hearts here. So um, that was really cute. And then there is this um, cream one. So it'd be cute to, you know, cut it apart and put it on a project. So I just love those. And then um, I ordered these little pink fabric flowers here. And these are a really pale pink too. I've got paint on my finger there. Okay, so those are just really pale pink and really cute. And then um, I ordered a pack of these and they look like this. They're so super cute. Like baby blanket material with a little piece of lace around it and this little pink bow with a pearl. And I don't know if you guys can see the little bit of sparkle in there, but these are really cute. And these were like 20 for $6. So all the prices were really good. And, um, you know, the shipping I thought was pretty good considering, you know, it came from so far away. So then the other thing I did was I ordered some of these new resin pieces from Webster's Pages, and I cannot remember the seller on this one. So um, I just ordered these frames, and then this one here, hold on one second. No belly. And um, I like this one because I like this little elephant right here. I thought it's really cute. And I like that one with the butterfly, how it's popped up. And then these. Really pretty. And then these here. And um, so anyway, I just I found that from a seller on uh, Etsy also. Now this is from Zivit, and this is um, Jamie's shop, Not Too Shabby. And uh, she was having a sale on, I don't know if it was Easter weekend or Easter day or what, but... Um, I ordered this blush Beatrice from her, and then this um, these stamps here, these Amy R stamps, and they have to do with um, fly, like wings and things like that. Because I got them because a lot of my stamps, the little images have wings, and I thought it'd be cute to add a sentiment like this. So I thought that was really cute. And then I ordered from the Greeting Farm, and I got the new Queen Bean, and I like her little crown, and then um, Hatter Bean, I thought she was really cute, and then I'd never seen this before, so these are just little uh, metal dies, and enjoy, hello, and smile, so I thought I'd give that a try. So, um, that is what I ordered from uh, Etsy and Zibit. And then, um, what else did I want to show you guys? Oh, I, sh I wanted to show you guys a couple cards that I made. And this is the first one here, and this is with the Sugar Chic Heidi Swap paper. And um, that's the first time I've colored her up with my Copics. And um, I thought this turned out pretty cute. And then that's just the inside there. And then this one I made for a friend of mine whose birthday is on April 15th. And, um, oh, I can't remember what she's called. 
but I thought that this turned out pretty in all this pink and um, tan. And then that's the inside. So those are my two cards I made. And then um, I wanted to show you guys a couple things too. So I don't know, a week or so ago, there was an HSN crafting special, like 24-hour special, and I learned a couple things. So the first thing is, is that if you take a piece of two and a half inch paper and you use your punch, you can go this way and then you turn your paper around and then you go this way and then you've got this um, like border strip here. So you just need a two and a half inch wide piece of paper. So um, I, I'd never known that before. Maybe everybody else does, but I don't think it ever came on the instructions for these. So these are the two that I tried and I thought that, you know, that's a whole different look that you can get from your punches. So I wanted to um, share that with you guys. And then um, when Elise was here, um, I wanted to do some molds and stuff because I saw what um, Elizabeth uh, BB Bomb Bomb one um, was doing with hers. And also um, Lydia's making a bunch of pretties. And this is tough, you guys. <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. But um, this is what I did. So I went and got the um, putty that they were talking about. And I made my own molds here. And I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. That was just really hard. But um, so these are... Let me just show you guys here. These are... Or this heart here is this heart. So, I mean, I think that looks pretty good. And then these are the Tim Holtz wings. And um, I tried a crown, which that was no good at all. And then I tried um, this frame, which was horrible. So I got out my Martha Stewart molds and um, made some like this and this heart. And this is um, using the Sculpey um, bake, the kind that uh, clay that you bake. And this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I don't know if that was the right one to buy or what, but um, that's what I used. And I accidentally left this set right here in the oven for three hours. I forgot about it, all these right here. And it was only supposed to be in there for 16 minutes, but it was completely fine after three hours. Okay, so that is that. And then what I want to share with you guys, last but not least, it's actually last but my very favorite, is um, I have a subby named Mammy Janine One. And she doesn't do videos, unfortunately, but she contacted me after she saw one of my videos. And she, she lives in France. And she wanted to send me this gorgeous girl stamp because I'd been searching the globe for it and no one out of this country would send it to me. So she went and bought it in her country and sent it to me. And um, so Sabine, I am so, so um, grateful and thankful that you would do something like that. That was really, really sweet of you. And I just love this little stamp. It is so cute. So, um, thank you so much. And then she sent me these little angels, or cherubs. And then she sent me some pink ribbon and some lace, which, um, this will look really pretty in the um, fall. And I know of a paper line that it'll look pretty with, and I can't think of what it is. And then, um some leaves so um Sabine like I said thank you so so much that was really sweet and you guys she sent me a card that says this is to thank you for your videos and your wonderful pink shabby chic world so how sweet is that um anyway that's all I've got and I hope you guys have a really great weekend and um I will talk to you guys later bye